Aloha Chair Woolley, Vice Chair Kimichi, members of the committee. I'm Henry Curtis, Executive Director of Life of the Land. Life of the Land has a long role playing in agriculture, sustainable agriculture. We were one of the groups that sued over the heptachlor incident in the 80s. I also have a long personal experience in agriculture. I went door to door on pesticide issues in California in the 80s. One of the issues that has not really been addressed is the religious issue. There are some religions that have dietary restrictions, and yet the biotech industry suggests that they can take certain genes of certain animals and insert them in plants and sell, sell them as plants. God be darned. Second, We've heard from the pro-biotech industry that one out of six Americans gets a health-borne disease every year, and they're not from GMO. I wonder how, without labeling, they know that. <laughs> Third, the biotech industry says there's no cost impact, except if you pass this bill. That's malarkey. The invention of super weeds and the heavier use of pesticides has a massive effect and a cost impact on every American. So it's not that this bill would drive up costs. This bill would help save some of the costs we're currently paying for. I don't see that Monsanto and others have put up a bond for when these <coughs> problems develop. They don't have a bond ready to do the cleanup costs. When did we make a conscious decision in this society to have the companies that develop chemical warfare be in charge of our food supply? Finally, <clears throat> the biotech industry has been involved in a process of revolving doors where they lend their people to regulators who write very comfortable laws and then they go back to industry and they say, see, we're regulated. It is time to pass laws that have widespread support and not support an industry which represents one hundredth of one thousand of one percent. Thank you. Hey,